What is up guys, this is TCG Sam here and in today's video I'm going to be coming at you guys with another Shadal combo tutorial where I'm going to be discussing how to set up your grind game when you don't really have the resources or the opportunity to go for game. But before we begin I just want to ask you guys to please remember if you haven't already leave a like, comment, subscribe because it really helps get me motivated to keep posting more videos like this and it really helped the channel out. But with that being said let's just hop straight into it. <clears throat> so here I have the five cards I think that are important to remember when you're trying to get into the grind game with Shadals. The very first being Rational Incarnation. I'd say it's the most obvious one. You can loop it with all of your fusion monsters so just the fact that you can go something like once you set up a construct, you can summon a construct back with Resh. When construct uh, construct has its effect, and when construct dies, add back Resh. And then Resh, you can Resh back a construct again, and they have to out your construct again while you're still getting pluses. So the grind game with Resh at all incarnation is really, really incredible because even if it's with a mediocre fusion card like El Shadal Shekinaga, just getting a big monster on board that your opponent has to cons constantly deal with can be really, really difficult for them. And every time it dies, of course, you just add back the card that you're using to loop it. So in a way, you have an infinite resource loop with these cards. Uh, Rational Incarnation is really important to be setting up, which is why I recommend playing two in most builds because you want to be able to get its banished utility as well, in addition to have one in circulation to keep looping with your uh, fusions. But I feel like most of you already knew that, so moving on to Sinister Shadow games. Uh, this one is pretty, also pretty simple. You get to send cards like Rishnal Wendy. Rishnal Wendy can send you anything you need. But the other effect where you're flipping up things on your opponent's turn to get additional resources is really, really powerful. So let's say you have a card. Let's say you have a card like a Hedgehog set and you have a Sinister Shadow game set. You can activate Sinister Shadow games. Send me your Wendy. Not only here... Does it allow you to chain block whatever effect you want here, be it a uh, Hedgehog or Wendy, whichever one you value more. Uh, it also allows you to get Hedgehog's effect on your opponent's turn. So if you're doing something like this in the end phase, you're able to grab, you're able to grab, let's say, uh, if you need an El Shadal Fusion, does you grab that Wendy effect, gets you a uh, Beast or something, and then you like flip Beast, Beast gets effect, whatever. Uh, but now the thing is, the Hedgehog is live again on your turn. What I mean by that is you're getting full value out of the Hedgehog because you use, you use its effect on your opponent's turn and it's stuck around on the board until the end, until your turn. So when you use it for a fusion material now, you also get a, a should all search in addition to having a search the Spell or Trap. So that's just really, really huge. A uh, card like Sinister Shadow Games, if your opponent is like about to ram, ram into the into your other stuff, you can flip up a Squamata or a Dragon to disrupt them or something. So Sinister Shadow Games, not only does it fuel your graveyard for a card like Shadal Schism, it also lets you get more value from your Shadal monsters because during your opponent's turn you get to trigger their effects and then on your turn you get to use them uh, when you go fusion summon again. So that's what I wanted to talk about with a card like Sinister Shadow Games. And then next one I'm going to talk about is Wendy. Wendy, as you all know, is probably the best uh, Shadal monster because it access to every other shell monster. You can, even the most uh, basic play of just setting a Wendy is probably going to prevent you from dying because at the very least you get a block three attacks with a card like Falco. But even if you don't, you can set Wendy. When a flip gets flipped face up, you get a special summon from your deck, a card like Beast. And then if your hand, I assume your hand will be clogged full of Shadals if you're just setting a Wendy. So you can set a Beast, Beast, draw two, discard a Shadal, get pluses off of that, which is just really, really incredible. But Wendy also allows you to essentially search your quote search your deck for any uh for any spell or trap by setting high you get a uh you get to out anything by setting dragon or squamata and then if you have banished cards for ariel then you're able to uh then you're able to pretty much uh set up an ariel as well as getting back your fusion spells so that's just the simple thing i want to talk about with reach all wendy uh next up is shadal falco i know a lot of people probably aren't uh might be cutting this because it isn't it isn't really that great to be honest uh, in the early game it doesn't really do much but the, i think it's one is pretty much needed in a trap uh, i would say more of a trap should all build if you're playing like invoke should or uh or really own a then i think it's okay not to play it because you have more fusion outlets to push but when you're playing trap should and you're grinding a lot with your opponent i feel like Shadal falco is really necessary so like I know I mentioned in a lot of my other videos, Shell Falco helps you survive uh, when your opponent starts trying to OTK you because you just keep bringing stuff back. The other good thing about Falco is, if you use, even if you're only using it for fusion material every single turn, you have a fusion material for every single turn. So like, 
if you keep using uh, Falco, you just keep bringing itself back. During the next turn you fuse again, it brings itself back again. So, And then if it ever sticks on the board, you can flip it face up, bring back one of your flip monsters face down. Um, one of, and of course, as you all know, like some of the flip effects are the best, are really, really powerful. Uh, so just being able to bring back your fusions as well to add back spells and traps, but also being able to bring back your uh, flip monsters to get their powerful effects is really, really good as well. Uh, Falco, of course, is also, like I mentioned, a really, really good uh, card to fuse with because you just always get itself back, meaning you can always put it uh, as the highest chain link to chain block your more important effects like Squamata or Wendy. And pretty much, I'm pretty sure no one's really going to be meistering uh, Falco anyways, just to bring itself back. Um, so yeah, that, I feel like that's really, really good. Pair it with a card like Rational Incarnation, and essentially you pretty much will never die because you can just keep bringing stuff back with this. But yeah, that's it for Falco. And the final card I want to talk about is Nail Shadow Aerial. So aside from its effect to Banish 3, um, well, actually, that I should say that's the effect I'm going to be discussing. Uh, you can actually banish cards from your own graveyard. I'm, not, I'm sure a few people knew that, but uh, Aerial is really good at setting up other copies of Aerial. Uh, so once you send it to the graveyard, if your opponent doesn't have three cards that you want to banish, so like if they just have a bunch of spells or traps in the grave that don't do anything to begin with, you're better off probably banishing one of your own monsters that you might want to set up later on with a card like Ariel. Of course, I'm not saying like just go willy-nilly banish your whole graveyard for no reason, but you can banish one specific monster that you might want to get back later, be it a fusion, be it a fusion monster or even another one of your flip monsters. Meaning, later on in the game, when you send a card like Wendy to the graveyard, you can set a uh, aerial and then aerial flips up and you can get one of your banished monsters back and get it face down so that's just really really powerful uh aerial like i said sets up other aerials so you can purposely banish your fusions as well and then summon aerial from your deck to be able to get the rest at all play into uh, the rest at all combo by banishing itself and something else into circulation which is just really really good uh but yeah that's the effective aerial i want to talk about uh i think all I'm trying to say is you should be considering using its a flip effect just as often as you use its effect to banish. Uh, while its effect to banish is super super powerful, uh, the effect to flip and summon a banished should all monster, be it a flip a flip monster or one of your fusions, is just really really powerful. Uh, like I don't know if I mentioned it already, but if you have uh, Ariel as set and during your opponent's turn, Rush at all essentially becomes an uh, rush it all in the graveyard essentially becomes an interruption once you have a card like construct because you can just banish these two flip up aerial aerial brings back construct and then all, as you all know construct can send whatever you want aside from the aerial in this case but you can send a card like dragon or whatever to disrupt your opponent which is just really really powerful but yeah that's gonna do it uh for this video that i just wanted to talk about some of the things to remember when you're trying to be when you're trying to play shit alls uh, these five, I would say, are probably the most grindy cards in the deck that help your uh, resource game the most. I would say prioritize um, getting at least one of these into circulation, whether it's the Rest All Loop with the Fusions, or the Falco into play uh, for your Fusion Summoning, or just fueling your graveyard with Wendy and setting uh, good monsters, or setting up your Banner Zone with Ariel. So there's a lot of things uh, that you can do to set up your grind game that's really, really powerful. So I wanted to share this with you guys. So if you guys like the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. It just really help keep me motivated to keep posting more videos like this. But with that being said, that's going to do for me, guys. I will see you guys soon. Take care.